Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're diving into some Cyberpunk 2077 mods you may have missed or scrolled past. These mods aren't just minor tweaks, they bring new features and unique enhancements to Night City, from making your idle time feel more authentic to adding consequences for those wild car crashes. These mods will make the game feel even more alive, so let's jump right in. First up, the Flash Mod. Ever wanted to get from one end of Night City to the other in record time? Flash Mod makes that possible by supercharging V's sprint speed. It includes a GUI, so you can tweak your running speed, acceleration, and more. All powered by Cyber Engine Tweaks. Now, you can't run a billion miles a second, and I assume the game would absolutely implode if you could. But you can go quite fast, and you can bump up that acceleration speed to very fast. It would be very cool if we could run a lot faster, but hey, it's a nice little gem of a mod. Also, the settings do save, so each time you boot up the game, you'll still be super fast. Now, will we use this mod all the time? Probably not, but it's still pretty cool. Next, Idle Anywhere. So this mod adds a whole new level of immersion. Ever wish V could just sit around, have a smoke or an orange juice <laughs> or, or alcohol, just wherever you please? Well, with Idle Anywhere, you can activate various idle animations on the spot. It's keybinded, and if you just stand still for a little bit, it pops up for you. It's great for some little role play or even just taking a break. This mod does require a few other mods like Tweak XL and Deceptus Quest Core, but it's totally worth it if you're looking for that extra bit of realism or immersion. Now, because this mod greatly reminded me of it, the Sit Anywhere and Lean Anywhere mods are perfect to add to your game if you haven't already. I've mentioned those a hundred times, so I just quickly mention them here. Anyways, let's move over. Now, getting around Cyberpunk just got a whole lot easier with the Metro Pocket Guide. This mod is extremely nice for anyone using the end carts in Night City. It shows you the routes and you get a little menu in your map to select where you want to go. Then you hop onto the end cart and it also shows you the stops and where to get off to get to the location you want to go. The guide is compatible with controllers and keyboards, making it a breeze to navigate the city efficiently without constantly checking your main map. Perfect if you're someone who uses the metro system a lot. Ever found the relic interference a little annoying? Well, relic effect period lets you adjust the frequency of those effects. You can stretch the intervals between each occurrence or even turn them off completely, which can be really nice if you want less interruption. This mod offers some extra control over how V's condition affects your gameplay. Perfect for those who want a smoother experience or just prefer a bit less annoying relic malfunctions. As someone who's been playing the game for a long time and finish the game when you load back on that save and you still got all those effects and crap it's like uh, you know but moving on let's talk consequences with drive carefully expanded to 0.01. Reckless driving in Night City now costs you. Every collision with another car triggers a payment determined by the severity of the impact. This mod has a bunch of settings that you can tweak to your liking completely. You can make it cost more or less, whatever you want in the mod settings. It's a fantastic way to add realism if you like the idea of paying for your mistakes. So if you're tired of ramming cars without care, this mod will make you think twice. Next, we have TV Anywhere. This one's cool because it lets you bring a bit of home wherever you go. After completing a small quest, you'll get a portable TV device where you can watch your favorite cyberpunk shows or the freaking news and ads. Psh. Whether you're out in the Badlands or hiding in a back alley, you can watch TV from any location. Combine this with Idle Anywhere and you can really make V feel more connected to the world. Just kicking back, taking it all in, super immersive and cool. And by the way, it perfectly pairs with Idle Anywhere. Like it literally pops up on the same menu. No issue, no hassles no problems. Hopping over to the next mod. Night City's NPCs just got a little more social with Talk To Me. Now when you walk by or stand near people, they'll give random comments directed at you. Have you been struck down? Giving the streets more life. It's a small touch, but it adds to the game's immersion, making the city feel like it's responding to your presence. Perfect if you want the world around you to feel a little more alive. Next up, Cop Killer. Cop Killer is a mod that keeps track of your interactions with the NCPD in a way that's both rewarding and immersive. It tracks your police kills from patrol officers to max stack. And when your wanted level expires, you get a report of your total police takedowns. This adds a little bit of a scoreboard feel to your interactions with the law. Police kills also come with loot drops, officers drop ammo, occasionally guns and stuff too. Tactical units may leave behind items like money and crafting materials, and there's even a chance to grab some useful junk. Also, while you're fighting, it seems like you attract nearby mercenaries or gang members who will join you who will join in on the fight. Plus, with the state asset fourth extra feature, you can open police trunks for additional loot, which sometimes includes valuable items from corrupt officers' stashes. Stealing from these vehicles will raise your heat level instantly. If you don't already have a star, it will give you it will give you a star, keeping the thrill of danger high. If you're looking to amplify the chaos and get some rewards along the way, Cop Killer offers plenty of incentives. There's a bunch of features that this mod adds. Feel free to read that long list yourself. But we're going to talk about a nice little visual mod that makes a subtle yet effective change. Alternative phone icon. This mod updates your phone icon on the bottom left to a more modern design. I didn't notice this, but it used to be a button phone. Um, uh, what? 
I haven't had that shit since primary school, man. Let alone 2077 when I'm 77 years old. <laughs> It also has a couple options for a thicker or thinner design style. It's a small detail, but for players who appreciate customization, it adds a bit of freshness to the UI. Finally, and last for today, diverse death scenes. Let me say this mod is insanely cool. Now what it does is it brings some variety to the unfortunate moments where you meet your demise. Instead of the same old death screen, this mod randomly selects from several effects and they are all really nice. They look well made and there's so many of them as well. It does a little bit more than just that. Now, one of the mod requirements, the Santa Morte death alternative. One, you'll have to download it, but two, they're in the mod settings of that mod. There's probably a setting that you will want to change because I was wondering why I continue to revive after I died like so many times. So you may want to hop over here and change the resurrection cap as I did. After that, you will no longer have what seem to be infinite revives, but it's completely adjustable to your own personal liking. But these mods will make your last moments a lot more dynamic. If you're into stylized gameplay, it's a fun way to spice up those inevitable dyings. Genuinely really cool mod. But that's it for today's video. These mods are small but mighty, and each one adds something unique to Cyberpunk 2077. So whether you're looking for immersion, realism, or just a fresh way to experience the game, give these mods a try. As always, let me know in the comments if there are any other hidden gems that I should check out. And don't forget to check out my previous videos for more modding ideas. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Please, also, drop a subscribe because like, dude, like 99.9% .9 of my viewers aren't subscribed and i should probably be saying this at the start of the video but yeah yay hey hey subscribe anyways enjoy the rest of your day